A while ago, I got a comment pointing out that if my temperate rainforest island is inhabited by 22,400 people, and if there is 100 villages in total, and if the population size of those villages follows Ziff's law, then the largest village on the island will have 4,318 inhabitants, and the smallest one will have 43. Ziff's law does more or less apply to the list of largest cities in the US. New York is the largest city and has around 8.4 million inhabitants. Los Angeles is the second largest one, and if you take the population of Los Angeles and multiply it by the city's rank on the list, too, you get 8 million, which is pretty close to the number of people living in New York. Chicago is the third largest city and has 2.7 million inhabitants, and if you multiply that by its rank, 3, you will get 8.1 million, again pretty close to the population size of New York. Houston is at 2.3 million, and if we multiply that number by the city's rank, we have 9.2 million, which is overshooting a bit, but not too bad. And Phoenix is at 1.6 million, and if we multiply that by 5, we get 8 million, which again is pretty close to 8.4. But this trick does not work at all when it comes to the population size of the largest Chinese cities or the largest cities of India. So it's not like you have to have this in your conworld, but I think making Ziff's law apply is a nice quick way of establishing the population size of all the settlements. There's probably all sorts of variables involved here, and I'm carelessly ignoring them but it's still better than coming up with entirely random numbers. So I have 100 villages, and here is the share of the population that every single village gets. Now I only need to place them on the map. I will put the largest village at the mouth of the largest river. They should get a pretty good salmon run, they can feed themselves. The second largest village is this one at the mouth of the second largest river. Then there's the third largest, the fourth largest, and the rest of the top 10. Then from 11 to 20, from 21 to 30, from 31 to 40, from 41 to 50, from 51 to 60, and the rest of the long tail. Except for village 100? I guess I only ever had 99, but I will add it here. So even though the average is 224 people per village, only 19 of them have 224 inhabitants or more, and over half of them have fewer than 100 inhabitants, and just a few houses standing around in the middle of wilderness.